what's good YouTube? We're gonna give you some more fucking news from you big boy, capital G. So everybody's been talking about the Revival Collection and Nexus Core being Nexus Core isn't getting around to it till a couple weeks later. So let's go. I really haven't looked at this a whole lot, so I'm just gonna kind of break down this set and some of the cool stuff in it. When they first announced it, I got hyped just because Vanguard's secondary market is dumb and reprints are always cool. I was there when they first announced that we were getting all of like the ZRs, which honestly makes this set 10 out of 10. The fact that we're getting all of them is just so good because it puts more in the market. It'll like make them so much cheaper. And like even the reprint in the Gizeh pack from G set 14, where that was also like what won a case, that also kind of tanked their prices down some. So like even if the ZRs only come one or two a case, it'll still bring down the prices kind of tremendously. So like that's already A+. plus. Your boy's gonna finally go hard on OTT Gize. Do we know if Meg- I think Megiddo was confirmed to not be- Yeah, Megiddo's not gonna be Mermaid, so... Gross. If you haven't noticed yet, your boy on the wiki is Leorio Paladin Knight, so if you're on the wiki, give me a shout-out, fam, so people have already done it. Alright, the first one is Gancelot. Okay, that makes sense. Because Gancelot... Alright, oh SGs, we'll just do all of them. Uh, Gancelot, it's blaster support. It came only as a GR, so it's expensive. So that's cool. I really like what they're doing, where it's like the full art borderless. So like, this looks really... Uh, this looks damn nice. Yeah, Gancelot, it's a good reprint and it makes sense. I don't remember... How much is Gancelot anyways? This might be like before... Or a this might be like after the reprint was confirmed once that loads. Next was The Purge. Um, it's Kagura, the de it's Overlord the Dex for standard, so that makes sense. It makes more sense than the Ace, because the Ace already got reprinted and the Purge is expensive as hell, so that makes sense. Gancelot is currently going for, you know, it's kind of important for people that want to play Blasters and Premium, so you know what, it brings it down more and it's, so it's fine. I doubt there's anything in else in the Royal G Zone that's more expensive, honestly, so that makes sense. 25, even better. Next was Egorg. They're finally reprinting Egorg, because that card hit some stupid prices once um deleters got like actual support. Because this card was like $80 at some point. It's still fucking 40 and it's not even that great. I'm very glad they're reprinting this, and because deleters bind face down. Egorg's a good one. Altered Dragon. What the fuck does this card do? Bind a Colossus or a Zodiac Time Beast from your hand. So it's already just unusable in Standard. I don't think there's either of those in Standard. Uh, choose a face down from G-Zone. Flip. Look at five. Search for two. Bind them. Um, I mean, it's not that it doesn't have synergy with what Standard Gear Chronicle is. It's just like, that didn't need to be reprinted. <laughs> It's a, like a dollar promo or something, so who cares? Um, Ange, perfect performance. I, I never paid attention to Bermuda's. Like, I know the deck was meta, I just don't remember how much or why, because I wasn't around for that format. $30, and it's a GR, good reprint. SGR next is Virgin Cecilia. God, that's so fucking pretty. So this is a mixed bag. On one hand, it is it's like the most necessary musketeer card because musketeer is what neos are in standard and like this is kind of the best musketeer g unit on the other hand it was two dollars so it didn't need a reprint unlike things like Valhamina. on the third hand if it's designed to bring standard players into premium they didn't need to reprint Valhamina because boom doesn't exist and on the fourth hand this looks so nice so like overall it makes sense but it did, like, need to be reprinted because it's a $2 card on TCG Player. Under the triple R's, uh, Ichikashima, that's good, because that's the best friggin' OTT G unit, especially since OTT's non -G well, even in Gize you obviously run it, but since OTT's non Gize play is Ichi Tom, so that's a really good reprint. Gavriel Eden, I don't even know what this card is does uh count soul blast one persona flip uh rescue one once per turn that's garbage on attack 
choose up to the same number of cards from damage as the number of cards in your G zone. Call them from damage. And for each one you did, top deck goes face down. Oh, that sucks. Oh, they get 3k, but like, it's not 3k per called card. Whatever. Yeah, that sucks. I don't know. Raphael would have been cool. Uh, Dragobus Luar. Good, because this is also a really good card. And it has like the whole grade one thing. So it, like, lets you... It doesn't make, make you call rituals. So like, you can just be like, hey, I'll call... V Blaster Javelin or Karen for counter charging, which is pretty sick. So that's that's fine. I wish they just reprinted something more expensive, but like it's a good generic card that can be used first and second stride, like Gavrel, Eden, Ichi, Shikima, so it makes sense. Heavenly Laws G13 Gurgit, right? No, it is not. This is act actually no, this is better than have than the other one just because multi-attacking and excel. So like that's good. Also, I don't know the price. I don't feel like looking up the prices for all the cards that I know won't matter, so it's probably fine. Benaragand. This is the only one so far that can't be used first stride, so why is it in here? Shiranui Mukuro, same thing. It can't be used first stride. Okay, there's. I'm kind of just seeing a lot of inconsistencies with this, where like some that were like. It's just kind of not even. Guy of Devastate's the good one, right? Yeah. This is like Tachikaze's best stride. So, well, that isn't Dogma, but it can be used first and second. And Dogma already got reprinted in V-Series anyway, so this is actually the best thing they could have reprinted. Shibaraku Bustard is Alfred, right? Yeah, it's this dude. I don't know how much he's worth. He's not a good card. Murkumo sucks, but Murkumo's good in premium now apparently because of that one infinite loop, but that this card isn't a part of, so they should have just given us that Yasui anyways. Uh, another GB2 only, so like, why is it here? They should have just printed all of them to be like, either dumb expensive cards, V-Buster, that's the good Narukami stride, yeah. Yeah, they should have just reprinted all of the ones that are like, that can be used first and second stride, or were just dumb expensive. So, actually, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe M Evil Eye Mukuro is worth something. No, it's not. It's a GR that's $3. So, like, they should have just given us Shiranui Rene or something. Just give the Protect Clan some aggro game. Winning Champ Victor. That's the, that's the, the GR. Yeah, that's a good reprint. That's a good reprint. How much is that anyways? Winning champ. How do you spell winning? Oh, there's no hyphen, that's why. 15 bucks, or 12 bucks, but like, it's a really good card, so it's worth it. Bravest Peak X Scallop, good one. Dirty Picaro. Wasn't it already reprinted in the, like, the, the, the first EB? Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I think all of them got reprints. I think it was Dirty Picaro, so like, why is this one here? But also, Spikes are bad, so who cares? Blader Mouse. Can't be used for a stride, but it's a good card, so it's fine. Should have been Giorno Giovanna. Is Balan? Yeah. Dragon Masquerade Harry the Promo one? Yeah. No, it's not. Um, GB3. So they went above and beyond the making printing cards that were GB2s. So they just printed the one that's GB3. I don't know how much it's worth. I don't really care about Pale Moon. Pale Moon was never really good in TCG because we got the promo too late. Well, now they split up Harry and Night Rose. I thought that was the meme. Why, why this card? They should have just printed the one dude that lets you soul blast everything. The, the, the Pale Moon dude. Gosh. They should have just reprinted that because that's a good card. But Negro Song is fine. I guess Alexandros A+. Overwhelm. It, it topped world, so it's worth it. How much is it? Because it got reprinted, but it's also a really damn good card and it was 70 before the reprint. Yeah, it's a $10 promo even after the reprint. This is worth it. And it's, it is better than all, it's proportionally better to the Mega Colony G units than Ichichikimas so or the OTT ones. Overwhelm is an incredible card. Baller Earl, it's a GR that can be used early, reprinted. Okay, all the double R's are just, are the G guards. Marin, it's Marin, so. Amaterasu, good choice. Is Serial the, the Limit Break one? No, it's the Rescue one. I don't know shit about Angels after BTO7, so I'm assuming this is still like their best one, because I know the 
The G flip G guard for angels is ass. Gelato is this girl. Yeah. Why is it the G flip G guard? It's the exact same issue of printing a card that can't be used first stride. You can't really G guard with this until you're at GB1. At least that's better than the GB2 thing, but like, I don't know. You can't use it if, you're go if your opponent strides first. Also, it's bad. They should have printed Plot Maker. That's expensive and generic. Elise. It's advantage in Excel, which is why this is a good card. This is a good choice just because of it's good. It's at least better than Jelly Dough, so it's justified. Is this the, uh, their G Flip? Yes, it is. I'm sensing a theme. Persona Flip a G Guard. Unplaced. Choose two or more. Two to Why didn't it just do choose two to three normal units with the same name from Drop or Soul? Shove them into the deck and five for each. That's bad. They deadass just should have given the card that lets you put cards from Drop to Soul. That would have been so fucking good for Himiko. And like that would have definitely be good to sway some standard only people. Because like that makes Himiko... Did they reprint Impede? Is Impede the Narukami one? Because... Uh, 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 yeah, they did. We skipped a little way, but yeah, they did. That is the best G-Guard in the game, so A-plus choice. Unlike Jolito, it's worth it. What the hell is this? This is placed on guard. Uh... Your vanguard is attacked by your opponent's figure. Oh, wait, it's a Murakumo G guard, so it sucks. Uh, choose a rear guard. Move it to guardian circle. That card gets five, and clone it to guard circle. Actually, that's really... Is new Shirayuki when it's placed from hand? Because if new Shirayuki is not placed from hand, that's so fucking funny. Fan Why do I know her name? It's Fantasy Pedal Shirayuki. When, oh, when placed. That's some, like, ah, oh, that's really funny. Like, there's probably a better reprint, but that's just a really funny play. Defeat Flare. A plus choice. Because it's Overlord and another great G guard. Zushiki Hime. It's fine. Bullish Primer. Is that the. Honestly, they should have done the one. The. The. Blockade Ganja. That would have been good, but like, this is fine. Tachikaze. Nobody really cares. This is just me insulting everybody else's clans, isn't it? Is Unior the bad one? Why this? Uh, actually, Novas have a shit resource game in standard, so like, this is fine. Some of these are actually very well thought out, so like, honestly, I'll take it. Oh, I saw Dolphin and I thought Aqua Force. I was really confused why Aqua Force was interrupting D Police and Link Choker. I forgot the this boy's. Yeah, that's a, that's a dolphin, right? Uh, choose a G-Guard, flip. If your opponent's Vanguard attack, this gets 5 for each rear guard. And if it gets 30 total, do some resources. It's fine, I guess. It's a deleter, so that's a good reprint choice. Oh yeah, this is the dude that negs- This is Zeal. This is the Zeal G-Guard, yeah, that's cool. Terrible Linus. Which one's you? Oh, you're the this boy. Ugh. I don't know shit about Spike G-Guard, so I really can't say anything. Vincent should have been a grab bat Malat just for the charge too more than anything, but like Vincent's not bad. I don't care about Pale Moon. It should have been the this is the new Aluru. Yeah, it should have been the original Aluru. Just because the original Aluru is good. This is the guard from Drobza. This is fine, I guess. I don't care about Bermudas. This is the resist guy, so honestly, I don't know how much on attack retiring is happening anymore, but like, that's fine in Aqua Force. Gressfort, which one's you? Is this the. Yeah. Yeah, this is the pseudo denial griffin. That's fine. Great nature sucks. Fight in the Atlas. Coast Arena. There's literally a musketeer G guard. Why didn't Neo Nectar get that one? Some of these aren't like some of these like there's a is it there is there a D Robo G? No, there's no D Robo G guard. But like some of these G guards, some clans have sub clans in standard, and have sub clan G guards, but we didn't get them. The fuck? Okay, Stride Fodder. Had Meanie, Manny Belly, Dorcas, Nikki, Shandy, Ghosty, Steam. This is just the original Stride Fodders. Yeah, it's just the original. Okay. Battle Sister. It is all the original Stride Fodder. And then there's the one Battle Sister. Why? Why, Bushi? What? 
Battle Sister isn't even the archetype. Isn't even an archetype in in fucking standard. Why the Battle Sister one? Okay, so the Stride Fodder is garbage because the the point that I made about G guards and sub clans is made multiple is like multiple times over in the Stride Fodder department. No, I don't want to go to Costa Arena. She's bad. She's just there to turbo out GBs. No, no. There's um. There is a Celestial Stride Fodder. Should have been that. Shadow Paladin. There's no Blaster Stride Fodder, is there? Golds. There's no Liberators, but like... Does that still have a... There's a Lizard Stride Fodder. Okay, maybe I am wrong. What's the Genesis stuff? Not a Regalia. No. Kagero. Um... There's an... It's... Okay, so... Eh, eh. Okay, maybe I am wrong. Nubatama doesn't have a sub clan. Murakumo, no. Okay, I guess I'm wrong for the most part. Maybe I'm just annoyed because it's Musketeers, and Musketeer has not one, but two stride fodder if you count the one thing that's like retire itself to stride. So like, why is the the only one that is a sub clan the, the one that literally didn't, one of the ones that didn't need to be? Do leaders have a stride fodder? Why is it Dest? Oh wait, no, Bushiroad literally just announced Messiah support, so they're ahead of the curve, so now they're fine. Oh god, is the next Asha support, is the next wave of Neos gonna be Asha? Are all these getting support again to be ahead of the curve? Please don't do this to me, please don't do this to me. I want, put Asha to sleep. I guess it can give, like, the overall impression of this set. So, like, they reprinted all of the ZRs, so it's automatically an A-plus set, but if the ZRs didn't exist, I'd probably give this set, like, a solid b or b plus just because the funny thing about like the premium stuff is it's really dirt cheap unless it's like super 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 old but for the most part it's really damn inexpensive and like you can say like you so you can't really make the art argument of inaccessibility for a lot of these because you can go on tcg player and find like cecilia for two dollars with things like egorg and the purge and Ganslot, where they make sense and they're getting kind of pricey perfectly fine but a lot of these were dirt cheap that didn't need reprints so like i feel like the issue with this set is they're kind of going with like half of it is supposed to be good reprint a third of it is good reprints a third of it is premium design support, and a third of it just makes no sense. Like, the G-Flip G-Guards, where most of them didn't need to make sense. This is overall better than the first Revival Collection, where they, like, unironically reprinted Zanbaku and, uh, Aurageyser. And, like, Aurageyser would have been a good reprint if we didn't get it in GBT-11, which was, like, a month before or a month after. So it was a good reprint, but it just was, like back to back so it kind of defeated the purpose so like overall it's a pretty good set but like i feel like some like a good amount of the reprints kind of missed the mark um if you like this video like comment subscribe if you want me to do more informational updates like i don't know the monthly product stream that like the the half year product stream thing they did and you want me to talk about that i can do that i don't know Donate to our Patreon, we'll make videos for you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, Masterpiece.